I created an AI voice agent by cloning my own voice and training it on my business. So let's see how it performs. Hey, I know I stole your voice, but how can I help you today? Hey, it seems like you did steal my voice. Uh, I was curious, what kind of services do you offer? Sure. We offer AI powered automation solutions for businesses. We focus on automating tasks like client onboarding, document management, data entry, and billing. This can save over 100 hours a month. Can you integrate with my existing software? Yes, we can. We integrate with over 2,000 apps and platforms, including popular ones like Salesforce and HubSpot. Awesome. Can we book a call and talk more? Of course. Can I get your first name and email to book the call? First name is Matt. Great. And what's your email, Matt? My email is matt at gmail.com. Got it, Matt. Um, let me check the calendar for available times and I'll book it for you. Good news, Matt. We have availability today. Would you like to set the call for later this morning? Yeah, sure. What time this morning? How about 10 a.m.? Would that work for you? Yeah, let's do it. You're all set, Matt. We have the strategy session booked for 10 a.m. today. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Thank you. So you can see how well that worked and I did get an automated email telling me that that booking was created and I got a Zoom link right away. So these are pretty good and you could actually tell it's pretty you know, similar to my voice. I based it off of a YouTube video that I uploaded to train it on. So uh, let's go back into the actual how to build this with you know, using Play AI in under 10 minutes. Also wanted to do a quick mention, we are just launching now our AI incubator community where it's gonna be a full out Discord where you can talk suggest solutions and ask for help to build any AI automations. And you also get seven plus video module courses on starting AI automations and how to build them, plus hundreds of templates available within the course that will link that we've made and then that we also link externally. So if you want to learn more about AI automations and how to build them, check out the WAP. It's right behind me right here and hope to see you in there. How's it going everyone? In this video, we're gonna build an AI voice agent that you can embed directly on your website and also attach it to a phone number so that potential clients and customers can call in and you can basically automate any manual tasks that you would usually do with a real person or with a text-based chatbot. This is a nice alternative because it's more engaging um, and it's actually very high quality and consistent and reliable depending how much time and work you put into building the agent. So I'm gonna show you how to build this in honestly under like 10 minutes or so. But if you want it to be very high quality and consistent, you're probably gonna have to spend several hours, you know, testing it, changing your prompts up and making adjustments. We're gonna use Play AI for this video. Um, the reason for that is it's actually a very simple and nice platform, but it's also cheap on the cheaper end. You know, there's other platforms like Synthflow out there, uh, which are more expensive. This one's a nice alternative. It's only about 20 bucks for the starter plan. And then it goes up to hundred plus. Um, but for most people, they can get away with the 20 bucks per month plan. So I'm gonna show you the voice agent I've already created, um, but it's basically gonna be like we're creating it together from scratch. So let's jump right into here. So the first thing you do here is you set your identity. So the name of the voice agent and then the voice, which is one of the most important parts. You should probably spend you know, quite a bit of time on the voice to ensure it's what you want. If you wanna save some time, you can go directly with the preset agent voices they provide. So they have different countries, different accents, and different genders. Hey, how's it going? I... Hey, how's it going, my friend? Hey, how are you going? We got a quick taste of that. What I did for this voice agent, I just wanted to test it out, is I downloaded one of my YouTube videos. So since I already have some, it's a lot easier. And I converted it just to an MP3 file and uploaded it here and created a voice clone. So you can create a voice clone here by uploading audio or by recording your voice. Um, obviously, the longer the voice audio and the higher the quality, the better the result will be. So you want to make sure it's good quality and long enough. I also reduce the speed just a little bit because I have a bad habit of talking very fast. And then you can change your avatar for the widget that pops up um, on your website. I just uploaded our company logo here. And then you set the privacy. You can just set it as private. It doesn't really matter for now. And then you have the behavior. So the behavior is basically the back end, the, the complex logic, and really the meat of the whole agent. So the first thing is the greeting. So the greeting is gonna be what the agent says to the user right when they really start the conversation. Um, after that, it's the agent prompt. And you can actually build these prompts by asking ChatGPT to build you a prompt. So you can prompt to build a prompt. So it's like prompt inception, but it makes things way easier and ChatGPT is really good at building prompts. So you can literally tell it, build me a prompt for an AI voice agent that should funnel website visitors to booking a phone call, you know, things like that. So you can see my prompt here, pretty basic. 
you know, just answer questions, act as a knowledgeable, friendly guide, and also help users book free strategy sessions by asking them the day and time they'd like to book. And you can, you know, change this up so always loop in the question of, or always loop in the offer for a free strategy session after every answer you provide. So you, again, you can customize this, you can make it more pushy, less pushy, it's really up to you and depending on your brand and your style of conversion. Um, and then from here, you can choose the behavior in terms of you want it to be super formal, informal, or you know, a middle ground. I just went with middle ground here. And then the other really important part here is adding your custom knowledge. So you can also select the LLM. Um, I went with 4.0, in my opinion and experience, it's the most performant one, no need to really use anything else. Um, and then the custom knowledge, so you can upload, you can literally just write in text here, or you can upload files. I uploaded a file and the, the file I got was, I literally just saved our landing page website as a PDF and just uploaded it here. In my opinion, that's more than enough for a quick demo bot, but if you want it to be very expansive and answer a lot of questions, the more files you upload, the more knowledge you give it, the better. And then you can also set guardrails. So do you want it to only answer questions from the knowledge base? I went with no, because I want it to be a little more free flowing, dynamic, and if someone does ask something a bit out of the box, it can still provide a good answer for it. And then you can choose if you wanna you know, keep the date, time, and caller information. So I just selected that. The next part here, which is very useful, is the actual actions. So these actions are, for example, if the user does wanna book a strategy session or a free consultation, whatever, um, they're gonna book that through these actions. So you won't see any action come up here until you create it in this actions tab here on the left. So um, you have the default Google Calendar one, which is what I'm using, and you can see if I edit this, how it looks like. So you just have to connect your Google Calendar, super simple, one-click sign up, and then you know set the duration, the event title, and some basic meeting notes. So nothing really complex here, but what you can do here is upload, or not upload, just set a custom action by uploading an API endpoint. So you just, uh, you just write your endpoint here for whatever API you're using, if you wanna use Calendly or any other app or software out there. You can also just use make.com directly if you wanna use complex automations. And you can just hit a direct scenario in make.com. Uh, but yeah, you can do get requests, post requests, really unlimited options here in terms of the API calls you can make. Um, so let's head back over now to the agent. So that's where that action pops up. So this is, and again, this is not hard coded into a flow. So the agent itself will decide if it should execute this action, which is super nice because it just means it's a lot more free flowing, a lot more dynamic, and um, it's a lot more open ended, which in most cases it'll perform just as well as a hard coded flow. And then here you can deploy it, you know, to your phone or your website. So this is the final step. So the, the phone one is really great because they can call into a phone number if they don't want to even go on your website. And the web one's good because, you know, it's a nice, cool looking widget that pops up on your site. So you can also customize the styling a bit, all that jazz. But I already have this on our website. So all I'm gonna do now is just show you the voice agent in action on our site. Okay, let's jump into a quick demo showing off the AI voice agent. Hey, how are you today? My name is Mattia and I'm here to answer any questions you have about Enviro and AI automations. I can also help you book a free strategy session to find out which AI solutions could help your business. Awesome, cool. I run a law firm. Can you help me with client intake automations? Yes, definitely. Uh, AI can streamline your client intake process by using chatbots to gather initial information, automating document collection, and setting up appointments. What specific tasks in the intake process are you looking to automate? Yeah, so I'm looking to automate the information collection with online forms and also creating materials in Google Drive and OneDrive once they become a client. Understood. AI can auto create folders and organize documents in both Google Drive and OneDrive as soon as they become clients. When would be a good time for you to book a free strategy session to discuss this in detail? Uh, Friday this week actually works. Is that okay? Let me check the availability for you. One moment, please. Friday works. We have available slots except for 9 a.m. Eastern time. What time suits you best? 10 a.m. works with me. Great. But could I get your name and email to book the session? Yep. My name is Matt, M-A-T-T. -T. Perfect. Perfect. And your email? My email is M-A-T-E-A-V-A-S 
I L E S T I at gmail.com. You're all set for Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Matt. You'll receive an email confirmation too. Do you have any other questions before then? Nope, all good. I'll see you then. Great. Looking forward to it. Have a good day. Cool. So yeah, you can see that demo and I did get the the booking instantly on my phone. So I created that in Google Calendar. And again, you don't have to use Google Calendar. You can use any other external integration. So that was it basically for this video. Um, if, if you want to create this yourself, you know, you can just head over to Play AI, create it. If you want help building this, we'd be happy to help you. If you want to hop on a call with us, you can book a call down here for free. Um, and again, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.